What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in this video we're going to talk about how to use the new wall cutter function from Flex Tools in your SketchUp models. Um, before we get started, today's video is brought to you by the 50k subscriber sale. So last week I hit 50,000 subscribers on this channel. As a celebration, I'm running a promotion on the SketchUp Essentials course where if you purchase the course through the end of this week, not only do you get a copy of the course, but you also get a personalized model review of a model of your choice so you can upload a model that you've created and then I'll take a look at it for things like best modeling practices and things that you could do better in order to really take your SketchUp modeling to the next level and then I'll send a report over to you um, just telling you kind of some things that you can focus on so if that's something you're interested in make sure you check that out at the sketchupessentials.com slash 50k now let's go ahead and just jump into it all right, so specifically I wanted to talk a little bit about the new wall cutter function that's now contained in Flex Tools. And so, first of all, if you want to download a copy of Flex Tools, you can check that out at the sketchupessentials.com slash Flex Tools. I will note that as an affiliate link, so if you do end up purchasing the extension, um, I do receive a small commission on that. I always want to be upfront about that in my videos. But now what I want to talk about is, if you remember in the last video, we talked about how with Flex Tools you can bring in all these different dynamic components. And they could already cut holes in single single walls. So you can see how I had a wall in here, all the geometry was grouped, and if I was to place this in here before, it would go ahead and it would place this in the wall. So this would act as kind of a cut component. So, and we've talked about that in the past, but what's different now is, and one of the things that you'd have an issue with is if you tried to place that inside a wall with multiple different faces. So like this one has two different faces, this one over here has three, you couldn't really cut a full opening in that. Well, what wall cutter does is it allows you to basically cut dynamic openings in multiple layered walls. So like for example, if I was to take this same window and I was to try to drop it on this face, you can see how it wouldn't cut all the way through both walls because it's only placed in this first wall and uh, the face cutter functionality only really gave you the ability to cut through one group of geometry. Well now, with the new wall cutter function, you can actually adjust that and convert that to a wall cutter object. And so in this case, that came in as a wall cutter object. If it didn't, you just click the button for convert to wall cutter, but then all you have to do is you just have to set the number of faces that this is gonna cut through. So in this case, because I have one, two, three, four faces, basically, that this has to cut through, I just move this up to four. And now, if I look at this, if I flip around, you can see how this is actually cutting that opening through both faces. So that's really helpful for cutting openings through, for if you have like actual true wall assemblies, kind of like this uh, block, brick and block detail, this is really helpful for allowing you to cut those different openings. And so all of these are still dynamic as well. So I can still come in here and I can just adjust this. And the opening you can see adjusts with me. So I can move this across, back and forth, make it narrow, less narrow, and you can still come in here and you can adjust the different functionalities of the way that works as well. So you could set this so that you have a different number of uh, vertical or horizontal divisions, all of those still update dynamically. So this is a really quick way to do that. And this works for the different kinds of objects in here. So let's say for example that I was to bring in a louver shape and I wanted to cut an opening all the way through using that shape. You can see how that's not working right now, but if I bring my cut depth up so that it cuts through four faces, it's now cutting this opening. And again, this object will still adjust and the opening will adjust with it. So this is a really quick way to add openings to your complex walls. And so in the same way, if I was to take this wall, let's go ahead and make this a little bit longer. So same wall with three different openings. Let's say I wanted to add a door to it. I could just click on this and then bring this in and click on this face. And again, same problem as before. It's not cutting through those. So we would just activate wall cutter. Then we would just add, in this case, we'd go up to six faces. And you can see how now this door cuts this opening through all six faces of your wall. So again, this is a really quick way, especially with the Flex Tools components, in order to do this. And so you can also come in here, and another one of the nice things about this is when you do this, like let's say I was to bring a window in, 
You can see how the materials get mapped along this face as well. So you can see how in this case, um, your brick material, your rigid insulation, which I realize you wouldn't have your window inboard of your rigid insulation, but and your block, the materials all map around this opening. So it's a really interesting way to do this. And uh, one thing to note is I've scaled these, but you can also move these around in your walls as well. So note that you can also create your own objects and use wall cutter with those as well. So in this case, let's say for example that I wanted to create just like a uh, four foot by four foot window, just something very simple. And I was to make it a component, then I could actually select this component that I created, click the option for convert to wall cutter, and I could put it on this face. And again, you'll notice it's only cutting through one way right now, but if I was to add to this, you can see how I can adjust that. Then obviously I'd have to come in here and I'd have to set up my window component a little bit differently. So in this case, if I was to undo out of all that, I'd probably want to set my axis a little bit differently, but you could still convert that to a wall cutter and you can see how now that my axis is on that front face, it gets placed inside this face. But you can see how again, this is really simple with your own objects. And if you move those around, the opening's gonna move around with that. So this could be really useful for just cutting openings with your own components as well as the Flex Tools components. And one thing I will note is I've had some kind of weird issues where if I for example, this object is updating okay, but then if I go back and I try to update an older object that I used with wall cutter, for some reason it doesn't seem to update. I'm not sure if that's something I'm doing wrong or if that's just a bug with the dynamic components or how exactly that works, but just be aware that that is a thing and I'm not 100% sure how to work around it at this point. So if anyone knows how to work around this, let me know. This could very well be a uh, just a function of, this could very well just be a function of the way the dynamic components work in SketchUp. I'm not really 100% sure, but I do always wanna make sure I'm upfront about stuff like that. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Is this something you're interested in? Could you see it saving you some time? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.